Hey guys, welcome to another part of this Valheim run where we're attempting to not die. Previously, we nearly did die, sort of. Uh, some growths snuck up behind me and scared the bejesus out of me. But luckily, thanks to relatively quick bone mass and potions, I managed to get out of there and, and actually beat them. So, we've been doing a fair bit of fishing. I, I enjoy it. I think the fishing in this game is okay. Um, it's not fantastic, but we've been getting some fish. Uh, we're growing some barley and flax. That stuff's coming along. Speaking of which, how are we going over here? Yeah, we've got a bunch here. 22, cool. Uh, let's... Hang on, I really do need to close this off, otherwise these creatures will come in. Let's, let's look about uh, making a new weapon. I've been saying for ages now, I want a sword. I want a sword, right? But the reason why I haven't been getting a sword is because I need linen thread to upgrade my armor. But my armor's been doing quite well. So, if we have a look, how much do we actually need? Uh, black metal... Man, I must have gone over it. There it is. I only need five. Okay, I've got a bunch of black metal. That's not going to be a problem. I need to go get some fine wood. Let's do it. Let's make a sword. Because it's the one weapon in my inventory that I that's sort of lacking I'm gonna need to get some more fine wood soon actually we can get that from the plains there's but it's only birch trees there so in fact it's actually quite easy there so yeah we could do that okay black metal sword let's do this nice okay first sword we've made in this game just haven't really needed it because the iron mace has just got me covered for so long. All right, so let's shift that around a little bit. It'll take a bit to get used to the key bindings, but I think that works. All right, can we upgrade it? Okay, the black metal sword requires just a bit more black metal. That's fine. Okay, that's what we got it for. And this will give it how much? So from slash. 95 to slash 105. Yeah, six extra damage. Let's do it. And upgrade it again. Okay. So another six damage. Now, the thing is, we need to train ourselves with this. I currently have absolutely no skill with swords. Oh, we got even... Well, hang on a second. What do we go straight to four? Let's do it. Oh, I can't. Okay, hang on. What am I missing here? Alright, so with the forge, we've got the bellows. I think it's the... No, I got that, didn't I? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know what I'm missing. The grindstone. I know what I'm missing. Okay, that's easy. The grindstone requires... I need to go get some stone. And then go to the stone cutter. Right, okay, then I need to demolish the stone cutter. And make it inside. Okay, sharpening stone. This will give us, yep, the grinding wheel, which I forgot about. Didn't need it up until now anyway. And now we just need some wood. It's a really cheap building to make. Hang on. Good damage. We just need to level it up. It'll just take a bit of time. It's going to take a long time to get it on par with clubs. But the thing is, if we have a look at the base damage, it's not just about... Um... I guess it being a higher tier, but it's also slash damage. So 107 compared to 73. So it is higher base damage, but the blunt weapon is not very good against locks. Not that we really should ever be going in melee with them, but if we ever do have to, I shouldn't be using my mace. Same thing about the abominations. I've been finding them a fair, excuse me, a fair bit. It would be better to use a weapon that's actually good against them. And then I just needed wood, yeah. 
Because I don't see myself upgrading from a black metal sword for quite some time. Maybe getting the Chrome weapon. Could be interesting. Which is, uh, that's misland stuff. Alright, where can I put this? There. Cool. Alright, then go and grab the metal again and upgrade it to rank 4, which is the maximum. So once again, just giving it, I think, 6 extra... Yeah, 6 extra damage there. Pretty expensive, but... You know, 30 fuelings is not that many to kill, I think. And we still got a little bit of flax left over. Ah, oh, flax, I mean, um, linen. Okay. Is that looking good? Yeah, if we hang around here until night time. Well, actually, why don't we go back to the plains? I'll go back to the plains because it's daytime at the moment, and we'll come back here at night. And I'll go fight heaps of grey dwarfs. Oh, man, I got loads of stone. Nice. One hit kill. Alright, yeah, this food has been working out for us, we, yeah, okay. Alright, let's go back. Okay, we can still get a bit more black metal before we send it back to port. Okay, so there's a tar pit over here, which we could drain. Looks fairly big. There's also a nice big rock over there. Pretty good for stone at the moment, though. We're also pretty good for tar. Yeah, could always use more tar. Uh, did I... Cl I cleared out that one there, didn't I? What should I do? What should I do? Oh, we're here. Let's, let's drain this. Let's get it done with. Oh, there's a big rock here. Uh, okay, how can we drain this? Effectively. Stay away from that there. I think draining it in this direction here will work best. This rock might get in the way a little bit, but this is where we need to start. And then, yeah, when it gets to night time, we'll just, um, we'll head back and go fight some Grey Dwarfs. Get our sword skill leveled up. Because it's another pretty good weapon. I don't think there's really very many enemies that are actually weak against swords, though. But there are pr plenty of enemies that are strong against blunt weapons, and that's what it's there for. some point we're still gonna have to go and get some more iron because we are starting to run low Looks like it's the afternoon, so I think we'll be going back home pretty soon. What are some other good places that you could, um, train the sword weapon on? Probably in the swamp. Lots of enemies there. And the stuff that we can benefit from. Yeah, all the stone that we're getting from the plains here might actually be surpassing what we were getting in the mountains. In terms of time spent versus how much stone we're actually getting. So probably the next weapon we'll want to get is the black metal axe. 
Because we're going to need it. It's just it's a requirement in the Mistlands. Yeah, assuming we get to there. Could very easily die to Yagluth. That's his name, right? I keep forgetting. Yeah, I don't know if I've made this area low enough yet, because if you don't make it low enough before you start bringing the tar in, what ends up happening is you this area gets filled with tar and you can't go down a mine any further. So you gotta do it before you bring any tar in. So I go as low down as we can. I've still been trying to figure out exactly how terrain works in this game in terms of lowering it and raising. I think the way it works, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, is that whatever the base terrain is, as in whatever it's spawned as, it can be raised like 10 meters high or 10 meters below. So for example, if you're in a mountain area, it's not possible for you to mine it, that mountain down to sea level. It's just not possible. So, for example, here, I can't go down any further. Even if I mine all the surrounding area, it just won't let me go down any further. So, as far as I've gone down, I would have been able to raise it. I think that's my understanding of it. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough kick strength, but that's okay. Hang on, I need to make sure I can actually get out. Because if I get stuck, <laughs> I'll actually die down here. Won't be able to teleport out. Yeah, always make sure you've got a way out. Yeah, unless you don't mind, you know, using a command to die. It's suicide. Alright, that's fine there. So, that should work. How close is it to the, uh, oh, it's so close. Alright, I think, I think I can make that work. Here it comes. Good, tar's filling up. Just speed it up a bit more. And then we just basically find out if I've done enough. And here we go, so it goes downstream. I think I got one more hit with this. Make it count. So let's have a look. Yeah, I just need to, I need to whack this bit a bit more. But some of this stuff, yeah, I'm not going to be able to, it's just going to be stuck in the tar. So just get the outer stuff there, and when next we come back, we'll fix that up. Yeah, I think I just need to lower that area just a little bit more. Okay. Uh, well... We can look for stuff to kill. That's an important thing to do here. Oh, what about, um... What about wood? We're low on, on fine wood. There's bir uh, birch trees everywhere here. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, plus if we got a black metal axe, we'd cut down trees really quickly. What's our skill in tree cutting anyway? 48. God, just all the time that we spent cutting down trees, we're not even halfway through it. To get it to 100. It takes a long time to max out a skill.
Well, it's been pretty calm since we got here. I really wouldn't mind a bit more of a fight. I'm ready for it. Fairly low on health. If you want to come get me, now's a good time. Oh man, come on. Oh yeah, plus we can use, um... Use this to cut down trees. Put some logs. The middle mouse button. So, it's a slower attack and it does do a bit more damage, but if you're having trouble hitting something on the ground, yeah, that's what you can do. It's a big birch tree. How are we going with this? Oh, uh, yeah, we can cut down another tree. see some stuff over here we could potentially go and kill. Looks like there's a Death Squido. Yeah, I got room for my inventory for it. We want to get as many needles as possible because it's just really efficient for arrow ammunition. You know, for every four that we kill, we get an extra 20 arrows, 20 needle arrows, which are really good. At least until we get to the... Uh, the mist lands, and then there's a whole range of different projectiles that we can do. Alright, it's getting pretty close to the afternoon. Just looking for something else to do, but I think I think we're good to go. Let's just go back. Alright, got a little bit of stone to put away. And then I kind of suspect overnight here that there's going to be a lot of great wolves, and that's a good opportunity for us to smash them. Oh man, I got too much time. I've got to do something about this. Say it keeps saying that, but I, I really do need to get on with it. Storage is getting out of control. Okay, that definitely helps. And with the regular wood, I think we need a bit more coal. Cool. And let's smelt some stuff. That's the last of the iron, and then we'll just finish off that silver. Although, really don't need any more silver right now. It was convenient to mine it at the time, so I'll just smelt it. I've got to do something about that box anyway. Um, if we're going to smelt the silver, we're going to run out of storage inside, so we have to figure something out for that. Still using relatively cheap food just because it's just it's not in any danger right now. Alright, what am I gonna do? When was it when did I say I was go, supposed to go get that flex? It was, it was around now, wasn't it? It's been about an hour. Uh, the last episode was only 56 minutes. 18 minutes in. It wasn't the first thing I did, was it? Give it another 10-15 minutes. I don't want to go there and then find out it's not finished. Uh, yeah, why don't we come over here and um, finish building this up a bit. Got so much stone. Might as well. to it. Alright, yeah, night time's coming. Shouldn't it be cool if they implemented in this game? Not that they absolutely need to, but seasons. That'd be interesting. I mean, I know that you've got Yule, but I mean like summer, winter, autumn, spring. I don't, I don't even know why I said that. They've done enough, as far as I'm concerned. 
But that's the thing, this is the kind of game where no matter how much they do, you're always going to be like, I want a bit more. So you kind of hope that they never stop making DLC for them. I mean, just look what happened with Ark. It had so many DLC um, expansions. Which is good. I think. Alright, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's, that's as far out as we want to go there. Alright. Training day. Night. Whatever. Thing is as well, by training up our swords, we're going to neglect our mace skill, so it's not going to be increasing quite as quickly as it was before. Not that it was increasing quickly, because it's so leveled up. Funny thing is, the current amount of like experience that we've got with clubs, I reckon we're actually halfway in terms of the total required to get to 100. Of course, I have no idea, because I can't see the numbers, but I kind of suspect that's the case. Every time I shoot a bird with a poison arrow, I do feel like it's a bit of a waste. Like, I should be using a wood arrow. But, at the same time, poison arrows, or obsidian arrows, are very easy to make. You can so easily just go and get some obsidian. I've got two portals to the mountains, so it's just not a problem. it getting the sword skill improved so that we can you know it's not even really about the damage it's about the stamina i think i think that's the more important aspect of gaining a skill is as you gain more skill in it you use less stamina per swing i think if you're maxed out it's reduced it by 50 percent so if we have a look here it uses stamina 14 okay one way to check this right we look at it says use stamina 10 right uh what's what's our stamina at at the moment 80, okay, it's 94, 86. Uh, I use 8. Hmm. I don't think that's right then. It's definitely reduced the amount of stamina usage. But it went down from 10 to 8. So it's, it's still good, but I thought it would be a bit more than that. Okay, well that's the ground floor sorted. Why don't we work on getting the ground floor sorted for the other one as well. And get this actual compound going. So I just need to... F Most of this work here is just flattening the ground. I've got the stone needed to do this. I've got a lot of ground to flatten. Because what I really want to do is make a bit of a courtyard that's out in the open. Not having a roof over it. And just see about getting chickens. And I don't really want to get any chickens before then because it's 1,500 gold. And if it gets killed, I will piss my pants, basically. Because 1,500 gold takes forever to get. And the thing is, if we want them to breed, I kind of need two chickens. So I've got to make sure they're going to be safe. I think that was the boat. Let's go check on it.
Where's the workshop? Sort of there. Cool. Still gotta figure out something with this. I wanna bury it. You know what? The hoe might help speed this up a little bit. Helps a bit. Yeah, definitely helps. The, the only downside to this is that I'm not getting any stone from doing it, but it is a lot quicker. But if I can get stone a different way faster, then don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, it won't do every little bit for us, but it definitely softened things up a bit, which was nice. Alright, so there. You know what, the one time where I'm like, I really kind of want the Grey Dwarfs to come at me in like crazy numbers so I can level up my sword skill, they're like, nah, we're gonna take a break today. It's like they know. Pathway towards the next one. Oh, we're doing the stone cutter over here. So, yeah, I've got to basically level this entire mound here. So, I think that the hoe is going to save a lot of time in the long run. But yeah, you do sometimes end up with these really jagged bits of land. And then you just use the um, the pick to soften it up a bit. In fact, it's kind of better to use the antler pickaxe since it these uh, bits only have one hit point. But the antler pickaxe uses less stamina to use. Not a big deal though. Can't be bothered picking it out of my chest. I'm getting pretty close to just getting rid of the antler pickaxes. I just don't really need them anymore. And it can save some space. Close to the stone cutter. Yeah, that needs to be lowered a bit more. I can't get quite get this to snap because. 
Okay, get close enough. Okay, that's that seems right. Okay, well, it's daytime. You know, we did a bit. Bit by bit, this place will be built. Alright, put away the hoe. Don't worry about repairing it, worry about that later. Okay, and let's put away a little bit of stuff here. And we've got some barley flour to put away. Oh, I've got a lot of barley flour now. Yep, put away the stone, and let's head back to the plains. Yeah, just to uh, find something to do. Okay, got a bit of junk here to throw away. Yeah, we did not get attacked very heavily at all that night. That's weird. Okay, let's go back. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see here. Where was the tar pit? It was over here. Because we didn't finish. And the tar is... It has been lowered a bit. Yeah, it's like dried up a bit. Do this. Just got a bit more of it to drain, and then the rest of that tar is mine. a lot of tar. Cool. I might need a, like, a dedicated tar box. Which means I think we're gonna need a storage room. Just where we put, you know, boxes upon boxes. Oh no, it's stuck in the tar there. Um, how can we fix that? I still need to lower this a little bit more. Got all of that. Got this one over here. How can I fix that? Alright, I'm gonna need more of this tar to go downhill just a little bit more. Just a little bit. So come over to here and just dig it down a little bit more. But yeah, I think the tar physics in this game is really good. That's it. Just Bring it down over here. Okay, that looks like it was enough. Not quite. I need to get rid of this little pump here. There we go. Got it. Alright, that's all the tar. Nice, so that one's cleared out. Good, how's our weight? Yep, we're still good. We can keep going. Alright, how about we get some more... S no, we don't need more stone, do we? Well, it's right there. It doesn't serve any purpose apart from just providing me with stone. So, let's just do it. This is a big one, too. Because, yeah, if we're diligent with all the stone mining, we can finish up our entire 4x4... Four four, sorry, 2x2 two two structure. 
two rooms by two rooms, so it's four rooms. And then we designate each of them a particular role. So the first room, the one that we first built, that should be the comfort room. So I think the forge and the workshop will need to be moved out of there. Just all of that just be comfort items and food since the hearth is there. One of the rooms needs to be the forge room. I guess there's no reason why you couldn't have the forge and the workshop in the same room. And let's see. What, what should another room be? Uh, in terms of misland stuff, we'll worry about that when we actually get there. Probably make a new room when it comes to that. I'm just trying to think about the four rooms and how to set them up. Like, in terms of artisans, where should they go? Like, the stuff to build with artisan stuff. Like, we could put the... We also need, like, a storage room. Which will be separate from the forge room. Because it's just not going to have room. Like, a box for every different type of, um... Resource. <laughs> prioritizing the ones, of course, that you get loads of. And they're actually useful. Not prioritizing the stuff that isn't useful, like trophies. That's three rooms. And then the treasury room. Gotta have a gold room. Yeah. The vanity room. That's where you put all your prizes that are actually valuable. Just make it look like it's super rich. And there you got your four rooms. Okay, I think the one where I've currently got the artisan table, that should be the storage room. How dare you. The sword's not quite as good. But we've got to get levels up on it. It's ready to explode. Hmm, it's still touching the ground somewhere, apparently. I feel like it might be this area right here. Alright. This one? There we go. There we go. Shower of stone. Very nice. Would be nice if it didn't spread out everywhere, but this is good enough. Alright, let's get that into that box. Speaking of which, I never... Never moved the teleporter symbol. If I want to keep track of this stuff, I've got to keep doing that. Funny thing here is that I'm probably not going to keep it here much longer. Remember how I was so afraid to walk in here with less than 200 health? And now I'm like walking around with 100 health. I'm just like, eh, whatever happens, happens. I think the, it's the armor that provides the confidence. Oh, I see what's happened here. A lot of the stone is like bunched up into larger groups. Right, that makes sense. Because it didn't seem like it was that much stone at first, but yeah, just... Oh, hang on. Locks. Do we need to hunt locks? Uh, I don't see any reason why not. No downside into getting more resources. I think that's all of it. Oh, there's a fish on land. Mine, 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 mine. It's flopping around on the land. It's mine. Size 3. Very nice. Yeah, you guys keep doing this. Come out and land here. Nice. Nice big perch and a pike. Well, that saves us a lot of time for fishing. Well, look at all the fish here. I'm not really too keen in fishing in the plains, though. But look at it all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Jump out of the water so I can just pick you up. Okay, just don't worry about it. Let's just keep moving. 
All right, see a bird. See a fueling. Did I get that bird? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think I should really just stick to using the mace for now. Unless it's uh, something that's actually weak against it. Another village over there that we haven't been to. I think I might clear out those locks first. Oh, it's on land. Is it? No, it's, it was. It was still swimming, All right? Do you know what you could do as well? Is you could use the hoe to raise the land from here and um, catch the fish that way. Seems like a waste of stone, though. But I'm just saying, you could do that. All right, let's put some stuff in here. Oh wow. Okay, and let's kill some locks. You know what? We really should refresh this food. You're going to attack my buildings, are you? I'm fine with that. It's, it needs to be rebuilt. No, don't demolish the cloud berries. Raining means my stamina is not going to regenerate quite as quick. I think we got it. Okay, it's dead. Your turn next. Oh, rest is gone as well. Mm, that's not good. I do need to get back then. But this is managing, so we're fine for now. Ooh, 43 damage. Could use bone mass. Okay, we've got a few things here. Bone mass it up. Okay, like I said, I don't like fighting multiple different things at once. I should use this one. Oh, it's weak against that as well. Uh, so, like, it's strong against it. Hmm, that's interesting. So they're only good at using piercing against it. No, I thought Slash was fine against it. Oh, my mistake. Anyway, we got the bone mass stuff going, so we should try to make use of it. to try to get the weapon leveled up a bit. Mm, I don't think it's worth it, just, just keep shooting it. quick as possible because it is doing decent damage to us and I'm not regenerating health as quickly as I could because I don't have the rested bonus. And also we're wet which lowers our regen as well. 
But with bone mass, I am not concerned. One more hit, one more hit. There we go. Definitely not my finest hour, but we, we were fine. Another locks trophy. Okay, cool. So we would have gotten ourselves 13 meat. Cool. Alright, we need to get back home. Just leave some low weight stuff here. Take the stone back. So we should have enough stone now to fill up all three boxes. If not very close to it. No, yeah, it did. It filled up all three boxes. Okay, I'll put this other stuff away and then let's let's uh let's do some massive amount of construction because we've got all this stone. Let's let's do it. No rush in getting back oh man, what am I gonna do here? This can't stay here anymore. It doesn't belong in there in the first place. This isn't supposed to be here either. Uh, I'll put it in the treasury box for now. It's temporary until we figure something out to do with these damn fish. Uh, pike. I don't think pike is used for anything. I'm not going to make a perch. Uh, let me just check. Tuna, perch, trawlers. Yeah, I'm not going to make a tier 3 perch into bait. I'll do that with a tier 1. So we'll just make all of that into raw fish. Nice, you get seven out of that, and this one will give us one. Cool. Just chuck it in there and we'll sort it out later. Or we could sort it out now. Yeah, if I do use this one, I'll use up less space in my inventory hangar. Make sure we don't use up the locks meat. So I'm not sure what it will prioritize. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Alright, I wonder if there's any more comfort items we could uh, build in here. Let's have a look. Long heavy table. I believe that one there will give us more comfort. Hot tub. Right, yeah, that'll definitely give us more comfort. Thing is with hot tub though, it needs a place for the smoke to go. What if I put all of my foodstuffs in this sort of general area here? We just try to make this work somehow. And then we put a hot tub here. That way the smoke will go up through here. Just like with the, um, with this. That could work. Well, I got the black metal, I got all the resources, I got plenty of tar. Let's, let's start working something out with that. Alright, well this might take a bit. Uh, also, let's work on a shelf. We can build a shelf here to get boxes up that way. So, let's do that first. I'm gonna need some wood. So with that, we can make it a ceiling. So yeah, I can put that there, or we can do it above it. But if I do it above it there, then I should still be able to access the um, the chests quite easily. Okay, but we want to make it actually look nice. So we'll also build some some beams like that and
No. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, I should be able to fit two or three chests in there. Right, so I need some black metal. Which I didn't realize I was so low on. It's because I turned it into a sword. Uh, we'll need some tar and we just need regular wood. Okay, then we make the furniture, this one here. And I can put it up there. If I can just get up here. Yep. Now, if we make it sideways here, like this, I should be able to fit three. this one. This last one here just doesn't want to play ball. Okay, what if we got rid of this one here first? Can I get those resources back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What if we do it this way? First. And then in the middle... one as well. I know I can fit three in here. I just gotta squeeze it nice and tight. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yep, need more black metal. And if I look up... Yeah, I can I can access those boxes fairly easily. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's not a problem. I could also put some um, some labels on that as well. Okay, I think that looks that looks uh, looks okay. It's got to be very space efficient, that's for sure. Thought something was attacking us. How are we going for black metal now, anyway? Yeah, we're running that. Uh, they were attacking... Out here. Yeah, what were they doing? Were they trying to smash through the gate? What were they doing? Uh, whatever they were doing, they didn't do much. So what's needed for the hot tub? We need wood, tar, iron, stone. Okay. So looking at that, how are we going for iron? Yeah, we're, we're okay for that now at the moment. Okay. So let's firstly... This isn't going to stay here long term. This isn't the treasury room. So... Which is going to be the, the treasure room? Is it going to be... This one here. Actually, I think I'd prefer it to be this area here, because it's probably the area that I'm going to go into the least often. So, be it the one that I'm going to just be furthest away. So, I think storage here, storage of just basic stuff. Alright, let's just get a box over there. It's another one. And I'm just going to be putting some stuff in there just, just to get it out of the way. So just put that there for now, but I'll, I'll, um, I'll fix it up later. So I want to be taking stuff from here. Let's, let's get this stuff out of here. Oh, yeah, it is actually really heavy. Okay, never mind. Alright, 
diamond. We'll tidy that up later. Still carrying too much. We're going to have to bring some black metal back. I'm about to run out. Yeah. And I'm going to grab the tar from here. Because this will be put into storage as well. Oh god. Heavy. Put it over here. We'll just have to figure it out later. Because I've... Um, how many more boxes could I potentially make? Quick look. I could make two more. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just keep going. Okay, and let's get the gold. So that box there can now be demolished. Let's get this gold stuff. Yeah, get all of this. Bring it over there as well. We'll organize this stuff again later. So it fits. No, didn't use that one. It's going to be a tight fit, and it's not going to fit. Okay, we're going to have to put the fishing stuff elsewhere. Well, I guess we've we made room here. You can go back in here. <laughs> this game of Tetris trying to figure this stuff out. Okay, th these are both empty now, right? Cool, so let's get rid of these. And we'll put the iron away. Give me six of this. Actually, give me give me uh, enough for two. I don't know if I'm going to cram it in there between the... So I don't know if I'm going to be able to cram it in there between the... Um, the stove. Uh, the, yeah, stone oven. But let's just see what I can do. Oh, it's going to be a tight fit. It's going to be tight. Oh, uh, where'd I put the wood? A little bit more is needed. I want to make two. So what I'm hoping all of these boxes is, this is going to be all our foodstuffs. The stuff on the bottom will be the stuff that we use most frequently. The stuff on the top will be the stuff that we use less frequently. No. Come on, we can make this work. Okay, what if I did it this way first? Oh, no, I just can't fit two in there. What if I got rid of a pillar there? Oh, mate, if I get rid of that pillar, the whole bloody thing might come crumbling down. Uh, but not necessarily if the... If, if this is providing some degree of support, maybe not. Because, yeah, the pillar's in the way there. Oh, this is risky as hell. Oh, I need the stone. Hmm. Alright, we'll just put that one there first. I'll definitely need to put, like, a light or something there, because that's just really dark. Maybe I'll see what's going on. So yeah, is it a really a good idea to demolish this pillar here? It might cause the stairs to collapse. This one here. But nothing else is really being supported by it. So it should be fine. We, we also should head over and get uh, sort out the flak stuff. Yeah, that'll give me some time to think. Put that back for now. And that'll do. Alright, grab the ho uh, cultivator. And let's go into teleporter to uh, 11. That's it. 
keep hearing uh, Grey Dwarfs attacking from somewhere, but I, I can't see where it is. Alright, let's go in. So, only a little bit of flax coming in this time. Yeah, it should be ready, right? Yep, there it is. It's all good. And quite a lot of barley. Probably should have come here about half an hour ago. But I forgot. Had other things going on. But yeah, we've got to get some more uh, black iron over... Sorry, black metal over to the... Teleporter two, and I got to sail it back. At the moment, I've only got like a stack or two, so it's not very much. It's less than the first load that we brought in. So I really need to go like killing a ton of of uh, fuelings. All right, let's have a look here. All right, how are we gonna go for plant? Hang on. How, how much are we gonna plant? Um, it's not that much barley, and we've got some barley flour already ready. Um, I think I'll do like a full load of barley flour. We can wait on the flax. Uh, no, 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 no. I've got, I've got to keep going with the flax. Okay, don't just don't do that much. No, you know what? Full load of uh, flax. <laughs> I just got to make up my mind. Okay, full load of flax. If I can fit all of this in here, then I will. Like a full flax run, because I want to finish my armor upgrades. And then if there's any room left, I'll put a little bit of barley down. Reckon I can put one more in here. Yeah, it seems to have worked. It's none of them are unhealthy. This is going to be a really big yield of flax as well. It's interesting. Oh no! Oh no, I screwed up that one. It's too close. Oh well, that's just one wasted flax. What are you going to do? Can't do anything about it. Don't think I can uproot it. Well, that's just what's going to happen when you really try to cram in as much as you can in a small space. Oh, look at that. We actually planted... Oh, no. Oh, you can't get in here. Yeah, building that fence around here was really good. Alright, and then we still got a little bit of room for Bali right in here. <laughs> it's not much, but you know, it's better than nothing as long as it actually works. Yeah, shame about this one here. The only thing I can think to do is actually demolish a piece of this and it might give a little bit more space for it. But honestly, out of all of these, for just one to be screwed up, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'll just leave the barley there. Okay. And then, yeah, maybe at the end of the next episode, we'll come over here and uh, harvest that flax. But that, that should be enough to get all of our armor upgrades sorted. Okay, it's daytime again. Alright, yeah. Mm, that could look a little bit better. Maybe I'll just move this middle one. I think we can make that look just a bit better. There's nothing in them at the moment. Y 
Yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get, considering it's not snapping to anything. And we can maybe put some signs underneath them for whatever it's going to be. You know what I could even do? I could put a... Like, if we really want to cram in boxes, I could do that. Yeah, maybe maybe not right now. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put some stuff away, and we're going to go back to the planes and kill some fuelings, because I need black metal like crazy. I've got some leftover of that stuff. Eh, it's not tidy, but whatever. Gonna need to eat in a minute. Need to make some more deer stew, or... I think I've got actually a lot stored up. What am I doing again? Oh, that's right, put this here. Alright, I didn't have a lot of DSG saved up, but I I got some of that. Okay, that's fine. Cool, sausage is not a problem. Okay, and yep, eat that one. Okay, maybe grab a few more of those. And let's put this stuff away and head back. Oh yeah, that's right. Came here to like construct some stuff, but I'm just I'm just out of space. That's not gonna go anywhere. I don't think. All right, it's time for some serious fueling culling. Now we know that there is a village nearby. Oh, we've got a fair bit of stuff here that I could run back. To teleport it to. Alright, where was that village? Which direction was it? It's like over here somewhere. I think the um, the mace is better because of the knockback as well. If we have a look, it says knockback 90 compared to knockback 40. I think that's what's really making the big difference here. Alright, where was that fueling village? Something over there. It's kind of foggy at the moment, so... I can't remember exactly where it was. Let's slaughter them. Get that black metal. Okay, I should be able to hit that berserker from here. Okay, we got a one star coming in, which means as it gets closer, we should probably use bone mass. Yeah, let's do it. Take out the small fries first. This guy here can easily be dodged.
Okay, where the one star go? It's coming up here. Alright, seems like we didn't need bone mass, but it's always better to have it and not need it. Than to need it and not have it. Cool. Alright. Okay, don't run over there. We don't want to be fighting fuelings and locks. That would be a huge mistake. Okay, we've got some death screeders over here. We should clear them out. Like I said before, we should really be trying to make sure we're only fighting one type of creature at a time. Because all of these creatures require different techniques. And you don't want to have to be juggling different techniques at the same time. Makes you inefficient. Ah, oh, there's another tar pit there. <laughs> oh man, it's so much, so much tar. Which isn't bad, if you want tar. Ah, damn it. Alright, that should kill him. Oh, we got a few incoming here. Don't you dare let them surround me. What's this? One star? Nope. Ah, it's kind of good that it's raining. Because, yeah, that fire damage just goes out straight away. That's it. Rack that up. Oh, crap. Oh, man, he went flying. So far, so good. I still got two more minutes of bone mass. Which means the slaughter goes on for just a little bit longer. Careful not to fight too many at once. That's how they get you. Your fire has no power over me. God, what a slaughter. Quick before he gets his... Now nah, I get his shield in. Good, another shaman down. Yeah, now's a really good time to be fighting. These guys, because their fire damage just can't do anything. How are we going for weight? Yeah, I can still carry a fair bit more. Give me that gold. Best of defense is a good offense. I've only got 28 seconds left. Then we need to seriously be a bit more conservative. So make the most of it. Okay, I think I need to start pulling back. Okay, start pulling back. We only got nine seconds left. Which means we're gonna start hitting pretty hard in a moment. Alright, bone mass expired. Now we gotta be a bit more careful. Oi. Yeah, look at that damage output. Good thing we still got the rested bonus. So we're recovering our health pretty quick. 
Cool. Ooh, stay away from those locks. I'm still wet, which means you still can't do much damage to me. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a fair bit out of all that. Uh, we still got a bit more weight we can carry, so there's no reason we have to stop. Just have to be careful, that's all. Uh, no, I forget about this. Just be careful. I think there's a lot of them just sitting inside there. Okay, we're at max weight now. So, toss out stuff that we don't necessarily need. Oh man, I just crafted... It was only five stone. But seriously, I just crafted one of those. Alright, I think... We've gotten enough for now. I will come back here another time. That was a good haul. Yeah, 35. So while it's still daytime and we've still got a good amount of rested, let's take this stuff and um, I'll get back to this teleporter. And let's take as much as we can to teleporter too. I think I saw, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a growth over there, just gotta be careful. At least it's not getting the jump on me, and it's good to see the Death Squido fighting it. Alright, just put everything that we can teleport in here for now, and I'll come back and, you know, come back and get it later. So, who won in this situation over here? Huh, the Death Squido won. No, they only killed one of them. Okay, that's fine. What happened to the needle? Doesn't matter. Dumb it doesn't. Alright, let's make our way back. But yeah, that looks like a pretty good haul to me. Gotta run all the way through here. Are we going for feathers? Uh, maybe put them all away. All this area has been cleared out. You will see the odd fueling every now and again, but no mass numbers of them. They just don't respawn in those sort of numbers. Those villages are pretty much cleared. There's a growth over there, but I don't have enough weight for its tar, so I'm not going to bother with it. Although, if I lure it over to the um, locks, the locks will fight them. See some locks over here. Death Greedo fighting is fine because it only weighs 0 0.5 each. Yeah, no problem. 
problem. Okay, now I'm at 450 weight. Just run through the swamp. And get this stuff. We need to sort of assess how much we've got there. I think I've only got one or two stacks. Which isn't much. I need to get like a full box going. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to pick that up, but that's okay. Alright, I'd rather not swim through here if we can avoid it. Normally I'd want to fight that. And I do. The thing is though, I'll only pick up... Yeah, look at that. Now we're doing better damage. I'll only pick up the um, trophy if it's there. Otherwise, the other stuff I just don't really need anymore. Oof, it's getting dark. There's too much stuff there right now. I, I can't be bothered. Yeah. Main priority, just get this black metal to, to the drop-off point the safe zone. It's okay, you can see that poison is just not really doing very much to us. It's just not a problem. this got to get skilled up in it because I did see when we were attacking the um, the abomination it wasn't really doing that much damage even though it wasn't being resisted we just don't have the skill that we've got with the mace yeah okay it's about what I expected I'd have here not enough to warrant uh, bringing the boat over here to sail back it's just not enough Picked up a tiny little bit of barley, or just chuck it in here so it's not in my inventory. But then just go straight back. I know it's night time, and that shouldn't matter too much. I don't think we need this, so I'll chuck it in there. How are we going for arrows? Yeah, we're okay. And then we need to go straight back through Portal 12. We just need to keep getting that this black metal until... Uh, back. Get the black metal to Teleporter 2 until I feel like there's a, enough there. Oops, Steph. Um, why don't we just take all this stuff? It's night time anyway. Alright. Uh, feathers go here. One locks mate. How did I end up with one locks mate? don't think we need the Fueling Shaman trophy for anything, so 
If we end up finding out that some of this bait requires this stuff, well, you know, so be it. That stuff happens. Okay, and oh, I still got more trophies to put away. Haven't fermented anything in ages. Oh, it turns out I ended up picking up that stone going through the portal. Oh, near when I came back through it. Yeah, I think I think I need to actually spend some of the stone. It's going to constantly get in my way. But that wall seems to be working. It's mostly keeping them out. Okay. Mostly. It's a bit ugly. We'll fix it up later. Alright. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll try to mirror this first. Because this will be mirrored here. Okay. This is what I wanted. Just absolute slaughter of it. Good. How are we going with our sword skill? Yeah, we're at 10. Whatever. It's not that much. Okay, and we got to keep working on the stone stuff and figuring it out. Okay, looking at what they've, what I've done there, I actually used on the bottom layer individuals. So do that on both those sides there. Is that right? Is that what I did? Yeah, that, that is what I did. Okay, and I believe that one will have a stone arch over it. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I don't have the stone cutter there because I didn't finish this off perfectly. Well, I'll, I'll fix that up later. Okay, and then on top of that goes. Okay, it goes one individual there and. Yep, and then we need to do it again. It's so much easier if it was day. I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then we did... that and then I doubled up this okay well that wall there is completely finished yeah we're fine Okay, and then there's pillars 
on the inside of that. Is that right? Yeah. Pillars here. Half full full. Okay. Yep. Half half full full. Full full. And I believe we arched there. Yep. And I even though I didn't do it on that side, I was supposed to do this. Yep. And then the uh, the ceilings will go on top of that. Now what did I do on the other side of that? Oh I used the big ones, didn't I? Yeah, I just made it ugly. Yeah. Do I just want to do that again? It's definitely space efficient for sure. Ah, oh, damn it, didn't need to do that. Is that really a good idea putting that there? Let's put it there. It, it'll still reach us from inside there. That's the whole purpose of it. Uh, okay. Just trying to remember. Yeah, okay. Let's just, um, I can always fix this stuff up later, but let's just get the freaking dumb bricks in there. Okay. Just had to check at what point they were snapping, and it was like this. Okay, that used up a fair bit of stone. Let's go get some more. Because, yeah, we got heaps of stone. Cool. Like I said, I can always fix this up later if I want to make it look better. Because, yeah, I'm not super happy with that wall, just putting these big dumb bricks on top of each other. Okay, so that's what I did on that side as well. Is that right? No, it's not right. No, it's not right at all. Whoops. Okay. That's not correct. I couldn't see it. What is that doing there? I can't quite get at it. There's... A piece of... Oh, the corner piece got destroyed. That's weird. Huh. Well, that's easily fixed. Sometimes I find just random pieces of building just gets destroyed. Right, that's how I did it. Okay, okay, okay. So, I need to make some adjustments here. So, yeah, I couldn't see it from here, but I, as you get closer, I went 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, with the 1, 1s being on top of it, so... Okay, that means that needs to be destroyed, and that one. And we put the... 
the one by ones on top of it and the one by ones here okay I need to get some flooring done there or else I'm gonna keep falling down okay that looks good okay What, what did I do with this one on here? This doesn't, doesn't seem right. What, what did I do? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't make it uh, look particularly good. Okay. I just did this. Well, at least that makes it symmetrical with the other one we've done. And if we want to make adjustments, that's fine. We can do it all at once, just later down the track. Okay, cool. That that sorts out that hole at least. In fact, it's uh, more fixed up than the other one was. And just checking how we went about this to make it symmetrical. Okay. And we make this work. Do we need an exit there? I don't think we do, so I'm just going to go right over that. Okay, add a stone. Go get some more. Yeah, the base is getting bigger, but we're <laughs> it's time consuming. We're already at an hour and a half. I need to start wrapping things up. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this base. I'm sure some people will like it and some people won't. That's usually how these things go. Like I said, it's not the prettiest base ever. Okay, now there's definitely going to be... Oh, hang on. There should be a gate there. Yeah. So, give me that. Individual piece. Okay, um, in order to make it look correct, just do it this way. Good, and then just get rid of those pieces and put those in place. Okay. Okay, that works for me. And then we just keep going around. And this is where we use up most of the stone in this wall as we build this room that's it make sure there's symmetry This, uh, the structure is coming along quite nicely now. Of course, this bit's quite easy once you get the the rhythm to it, because it's just just place one block after another. I think this is a good place here to sort of wrap things up. Well, we've got a lot of uh, of uh, black metal waiting for us at Teleporter Two and in various other places, but we just need to get more over there because I think one trip for like three stacks of it just isn't really that good because I'll only make like one piece of equipment with it. For quite a few boxes, but we're going to need a lot of boxes. At least, if I want to do everything that I want to do, which I do. So, we'll just get more black metal. It just means killing more fuelings. It's no big deal. There's heaps of them. Alright, anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.